Uh, my name is Joshua Magu from Kenyatta University. And in this project, I acted as the one who was multiplying the tissue culture material to distribute to farmers and also go into the field and try to uh, introduce this new variety that is the Narita variety. We call them climate smart because they have been bred into the current regime and they are, the breed itself is for Matoke. One of the key roles of uh, a university or Kenyatta University is to disseminate information that we get as researchers to the farmers. We were able to have these varieties uh, come into the lab and we're able to multiply them and now being able to distribute them to the farmers for them to use them in their day-to-day -day activities. Under the TC for real, I also got an opportunity to go to Ghent and more much appreciations to Professor Stefan who share his knowledge on the multiplication of banana, which I came back with and which has helped and enabled us to be able to multiply the bananas in large volumes. Collaboration is quite important within institutions and KU cannot be able to disseminate this information without collaborating with other key players when it comes to even getting to the end user. So we have been able to incorporate CALRO, uh, who is the agricultural regulation of institute in Kenya. We're also working with the extension officers who are the people who interact with the farmers on a day-to-day -day activity to give us reports on how the varieties are pairing and what the farmers are able to say about the varieties that we are giving them. My name is Professor Grace Gary. I'm a Jeddah professor teaching at Kenyatta University in the Department of Sociology, Jeddah and Development Studies. In this project, my role is to make sure that the product, the, the banana cooking banana product that reaches the farmers is Jeddah responsive. Most of the scientific productions that come out of our labs are very, very good in improving food and uh, wealth and what have you. However, the communities are Jeddah. And there are serious power dynamics that emanate within those communities from men and women. So what do we do? We literally make sure from the laboratories that the seeds that are produced are gender responsive. We also work with the communities. This new variety of Narita is targeted to increase wealth in the household. And we have seen from research that Traditionally, when crops that are initially grown by one gender, and that is women, for instance, and bananas were categorically a women's crop, the minute they shift from a food crop to commercial crop, men take over. And once men take over, they shift the women or they remove them from the production various chains of the systems. This causes a lot of you know, disturbance in the household. For instance, when the sharing of resources, mostly men sell bananas and that money does not reach the women. So our agenda in this project, the Narita project, is to make sure that the benefits that we emanate from the Naritas we will reach men, reach women, and reach people living with disabilities, reach youth, male and females, at an equitable distribution of resources. My name is Dr. Charity Gadamberi. I work with Kenya Agriculture and Livestock Research Organization. One of the mandate of CARO is to do research and also release new varieties. We evaluate the agronomic requirements, that is the spacing and uh, the practices that are needed in growing of bananas. And then we also look at the final product, what is the sizes of the bunches, what is the color of the fruit, the fruit shape, and how it can be harvested properly and then taken to the market. Eventually, we will look at the end use of uh, the bananas, like they can be used uh, in making matoke. They can also be processed in flour that can be used in making different products. Uh, currently, there are very few varieties that are used for cooking. So introduction of new cooking varieties will boost the economy or will boost the value chain in the in uh, ensuring food security within the country and also improve the livelihood. My name is Margaret Karaja. I work with IITA or International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. We do research in banana, cassava, and yam. My work mainly involves data management 
and data basis management. Data management involves data correction, so the plant measurements could be the plant height, the plant width, could be the bunch, uh, the bunch weight, the number of fingers. So that's the kind of data we collect from a banana plant. And in this project, um, we are using that data to compare the performance of plants in different locations. We are going to establish Naritas, which were developed by IITA and NARO in Uganda. So we bring in these Naritas to farmers in Kenya in Embu. Mm -hmm.